Well guys, our potato buckets that were looking so amazing are getting absolutely destroyed by the deer. The deer have wreaked havoc on these. They've wreaked havoc on just about every flower that we have through this front area, and they're destroying everything right now. But I think I got an answer to at least save these. Come along and I'll show you our quick and easy fix. What's up guys, Stan here from Rocky Creek. Welcome back to the homestead. It is blazing hot today, so I'm probably gonna be all sweaty, so don't mind that. Uh, but we're down here because we got a serious issue with the deer going on on our property. We've had deer obliterate stuff in our front yard for years, but the only thing they don't touch is the lavender plants. So who knows, we may have lavender across this whole front yard before it's over with. But anyways, the deer started getting these and I bought a product that did not work at all. So let me show you that one. So when we started having the problem, I bought these things right here, and I have them every only couple of feet. There's another one right here, and there was one around there for four, and then I put two more way down yonder. And these were from, we bought these at Lowe's. They were a brand, I think, called Safer, and they were just like a deer repellent. Um, and supposedly there's an odor in here. There is like a, a black brown dusty type substance inside of it and it's supposed to emit an odor that the deer don't like but the people can't smell and it'll keep them away well they don't work at all like zero don't waste your money 15 bucks don't waste your money it was so bad of a product that honestly i really almost think that when i put them out here i swear they ate them more I don't know what it was, but anyways, the product was only like 15 or 16 bucks, but I'm telling you right now, off of my one experience, it did not work at all. Now, some people, there is a spray that they sell that some people said they had some success with, but with these things, don't waste your money. I'm chucking these in the trash as soon as we get done with what we're doing today, but there is one thing I know that always works. That's electricity. So we're going to zap them. Let's get it set up really quick because you've, if you've been with us for a while, you've seen how we did our pig area, which is way over yonder, somewhere over there. Uh, we did poly wire line, super easy. I have some step posts that I have on hand. And so we're gonna do a quick little thing right here with a couple step in posts. And all in all, other than our energizer, it really doesn't cost much money. So let's get this thrown in. So all I'm gonna use for this is gonna be some of these step in posts here, which we got rocky ground. That's probably gonna be my biggest problem is finding a spot to get these in. We're gonna use some poly wire that I still have. This is still the same roll I've been using for quite a while now uh, to get a little lighter just to melt off where these end up finishing. And we got our grounding rod and our hammer to pound it in. And then we're gonna go ahead and use our super old, worn out Premier One electric fence charger, but it's still working. I tried it out, we'll clean it up real quick. So yeah, let's rock and roll. So I already have this post here, but I'm not gonna, oh my gosh. That is in the ground like something fierce. All right, but we actually want to start it over here. We're not running this across the entire front yard. We're really just going to do right here where the potatoes are. But for simplicity, I am going to take this all the way around the outer part of the flower bed. So there we go, we got the post running this way. And I'm really just isolating it to where these potatoes are. And I did want to get all the way over into here, so we're gonna kind of have to run it sort of weird, but the good thing is that poly line's super easy to do. And I think I get a lot of sunshine here on the front, and so not to have to cause me an issue with mowing, is I'm gonna go ahead and probably put our solar charger and stuff back there. So it's kind of out of sight and hidden a little bit. All 
All right, so I checked the lines. It should be able to reach everything, no problem. Those should have been the hardest things. Like we're legit probably five, 10 minutes into this. This is how easy it is once you get used to it with your charger and your poly line. So now I'm just gonna start running my line and we'll get that worked out. Now when you get to the end, what I like to do is I like to come way out here when I got it pulled tight and I clip it. Now, of course, it fell through the thing, which is fine. Bring it back through and then I'm actually going to melt off about this much of it. And what will happen is, is the plastic melts away, but the uh, metal filaments or line, if you will, will, will stay. And once we get that, we'll keep it pulled tight. I like to twist it. And then when I get to just the metal, it can really twist really, really tight on there. There it goes. Now it's holding. So then with this particular charger, we just take the black to the ground and we take the red to the actual line. And what I'm gonna plan to do is I'm gonna plan to snap this on where it's twisted. So that just kind of adds like an extra kind of hold of it. Now let's get our tester and moment of truth to see if it works. All right guys, we got our trusty tester here. You can see right now, a whole lot of nothing there, as good as best you can see it here. Let's see what we're getting. Oh yeah, she's hot. So there's the overall look at it. Is it the most aesthetically pleasing thing? It is not, uh, but you know, I didn't want to cover all this stuff up too. So we're just gonna right now focus on where the potatoes are. So when I ran the line, I did the bottom two lines closer, but I left a gap here in the upper line so I can cut it off and if I need a water, I can actually slide in through there no problem. Um, and the line's pretty flexible. And the reason why too, I wanted to use my Premier One charger is because it has the easy on off button. And our kids do play out here. And so the deer are really only an issue during the nighttime eating this. So I can cut that off during the day um, and then we can cut it back on in the evening when the kids aren't playing. So that way I don't have to worry about them accidentally getting shocked since it is closer to the house versus our one on the pigs. It's always going because it's actually plugged into electricity. Well, now that we've got this knocked out and it literally probably took me 15 minutes in total, which was trying to film as well. Let's go give you an update on one other thing. Look at this little lady. Hi, Miss Callie. Everybody been asking about you again. They've enjoyed seeing you. you. Want to come out? Yeah, you wild thing. Come on. You can come on out, crazy girl. Oh, yeah, now you're ready to play. Full of energy. Hey, you went between my legs. Y'all, she's wild as a buck. Getting into all kinds of stuff. I mean, she has so much energy right now, it is unreal. Everything is like a new adventure for her. She's wanting to get into everything. I mean, I mean, she just, it doesn't matter what it is.
What are you doing to my shoes? But Miss Callie's doing really well. Um, she's super playful. Madison's been having a lot of fun with her, uh, but she's been a great kitten so far. But she's got a ton of energy right now, so I'm gonna let her keep running. But she's doing great. She's got her second appointment coming up soon. But other than that, super healthy cat, doing great. Ready? Go fly. So guys, I think that's gonna wrap everything up for today. Um, I know some of you all have been dealing with some deer issues and things of that nature. Uh, Cause I had shared about the deers uh, tearing up some of my stuff on, I think it might've been Instagram and some people commented on some issues they were having too. So I thought I'd share with you that if you needed to do something to keep them away and maybe haven't ran electrical before, um, it's really more easy than what you may think. And it doesn't have to cost you a lot. I think that roll of poly wire, which like I said, I've used on my entire pig area and uh, right here and I still got plenty of the roll left. I want to say it was maybe 20 bucks Those step in posts you can usually get them for just a couple bucks a piece And then if you're doing it close to your house You could easily get a plug-in energizer for that short of a distance that probably costs you like another 20 or 25 dollars So I would say you know for about fifty dollars to sixty dollars You could have you a setup and the thing is is that sounds kind of like a lot if you can go buy some spray But if you buy three different sprays or something that don't work then you're gonna be at that anyways. And this is something that you can use year after year after year. So when like when I'm done with this, my plan is I'm just gonna unravel that same piece of poly line and put those stakes together and just bundle it up and put it away. And so if I do my potatoes there again, I already have the exact size that I need and I already have the exact same number of posts and they just go right into my spot where I need it. So guys, hope this helps y'all out. I uh, hope y'all like seeing the update on Miss Callie here. Uh, but I'm just gonna sit out here. I'm gonna let her run and play. Um, it's been a pretty warm day She hasn't had a lot of time outside. So we're just gonna kind of relax now hydrate up and I'm just gonna let her play Here in the shade for quite a while. So guys, we appreciate y'all hanging out with us. Y'all be good We'll see you here real soon on our next episode. Thanks guys